Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to another episode of That Christian Vlogger. So today is a special day. Today at Emily's work, it's bring your incredibly hot and amazing and talented husband to work day. So of course, I had to oblige. Uh, <laughs> Actually, she only has one appointment today and I don't really have anything else to do. So I'm like, hey, why don't we go together and I can see kind of what's going on. I don't think I'm gonna be able to actually go to the work with her. For those of you who don't know, Emily is an OT, which stands for Occupational Therapy. Still haven't quite figured out what exactly that means yet. <laughs> but we're gonna go out that way and then we're gonna hang out and try and find something fun to do. You look so pretty today. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Whose bird idea was it to have cold smoothies on a cold day? I'm trying to be healthy. Oh. Get my vegetables in. Just dropped Emily off at work. I found a nice little photo and video store, which is probably going to be a bad thing. But uh, this is a good time for me to talk to you about what the devotional will be for today. And I wanna talk about conflict resolution. Just finished at the camera store. It's like Disneyland for me. So many cool toys to play with. One of the ones that I saw that I really liked was like this giant circle thing. You put your camera in the middle and it makes your video a lot smoother when you run around, but it seems pretty cool. I made it out there without spending a ton of money, so I'm excited. <laughs> now, I think one of the most commonly misquoted verses in the Bible is in Matthew chapter 18. And you hear it a lot at church or in prayer meeting or stuff like that where basically people say, well, God, where two or three are gathered in your name, you promise to be there. In fact, if you read the verses just before those verses, it actually talks about when people are in an argument or someone is wrong someone else. It's saying, hey, get together, talk to each other and try and figure things out, try and resolve these things. And the moments of those conflict resolution, that's when you can know that God's spirit is there. God is in the business of restoring relationships. I am on the way to go pick up Emily now. I'm the bag lady. You are the crazy bag woman. Crazy bag lady. How was it? Emily and I decided to go on a nice little nature walk. What is one piece of advice that you'd give people? Like say they're in the middle of an argument with someone or maybe they've had an argument with someone in the past and they're trying to make things better. What would you suggest to them? I would say don't walk out of it right away even though you're like super frustrated at that time. If you need to take a breather and just gather your thoughts, voice that to your spouse and say, or whoever you're fighting with and be like, okay, I just need a break. Like, let me just gather my thoughts instead of just walking away and they think like, okay, like, no explanation, you know, so. And then um, come and resolve the conflict when you have all your thoughts together. Look, mom, DG lover. For those of you who don't know, my mom's name is Dinah Green, DG. Emily and I are at Joann's, which is a fabric store, and we're looking for some stuff for her work, little craft type stuff, and I'm also looking for different things that we can use for like the backdrop in our house for some of our YouTube videos. Emily and I are at Allstate right now. We've been like dealing with this car thing and insurance and registration for like the last several months. We're trying to get it done. I thoroughly, thoroughly dislike this kind of an establishment. They're trying to charge me like 250 bucks a month for car insurance. Plus this bathroom smells like paint. Back here at the school, picking up the package for Junior. I'm really excited about this package that I just picked up. Uh, about a week ago, 
my uncle Randy heard that some of the students didn't quite have all the right winter clothes like shoes and sweaters and pants and things like that. Uh, some of these kids are from California or Hawaii and have never really experienced winter like this, kind of like me. And uh, he wanted to be able to support them by sending them some warm clothes and things like that to, to help them survive the winter. And so uh, we're going to be bringing this package over to Junior who will be able to, you know, be one of the benefactors of my uncle's generosity. So Uncle Randy, thank you so much for your support. It means a lot, especially when it's out here and it's freezing sometimes. So I know that he's gonna be really, really appreciative. So while I was out getting car stuff done, my beautiful wife was making us dinner and we have grilled cheese, which is going to be awesome. And then we have to get ready because tonight some of the students and us, we're gonna be driving about an hour out of the way to go and do Vespers with a, with a church in the area. So, uh, gotta eat quick and then get on the road. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Okay. Well, What's going on? Oh my God. Do you have a video? Oh, I'm getting look at the outfit she has on. Look at that outfit. Oh, look at that outfit. Woo! 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 Hey, I tried to find a husband today. Wait, where did he send it for? Come from? California. California? Yeah. They fit good? Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you again. This is uh, Uncle Randy. Uncle Randy, yeah. thank you so much for all the things that you have uh, donated. I really appreciate it. And this, this is exactly what I was praying for. So thank you again. God bless. He's not wearing any of the other clothes right now. It's not that cold, so, but he did want to ch uh, test out the boots and stuff like that. If you don't feel it wet. <laughs> We just made it to church. All right, everyone's getting ready. There's some homies. Um, this evening's program is going to be brought to us from the Reach Urban Evangelism School of the Columbia Union. <laughs> just finished uh, the worship service. A couple of our students shared testimonies and gave the message. And then there was a music service that was absolutely amazing. Probably the best music service I've had in like the last year or something. He had no part in that at all. He just had everything to do. It was all because of me. It was awesome. Really, really good. So ending today on a super high note. Really, really glad that we ended up coming out here. And this is Pastor. Say what's up, Pastor. Hello. <laughs> So that'll be it for tonight. We'll see you guys later. Good night.